I'm Melanie Sänger. I'm part of the Bocuzzini team and we launched our Bocuzzini, which is a plug and play food printing system on Kickstarter. You can basically print all kinds of materials, uh, foods, which um, in one state have a fluid um, behavior, like bakery products, marzipan, bese stuff, jellies. Yeah, the Bocuzzini is a very easy tool to use because it's a plug and play system. And when people get it, we want them to be able to do their first food printing in their first 15 minutes. You will get food cartridges or you can fill them yourself. And um, you have a very easy user interface where you can just draw something and play print and it will um, print your design in what we, we call 2.5D. And we are working now on a drag and drop function um, with which you can um, make really insert nice 3D shapes um, without having any software. We offer um, the STL files for download so you can scroll through our bocosini.com um, page and have a look which recipes you like and then you can get the recipes, you can get the cartridges and you can download um, the STL file which is optimized for the food you want to print. We um, offer cartridges but we also um, give out recipes um, for people to um, fill their cartridges themselves. Um, so for example potato puree that's very easy to make and um, we're quite sure that um, if we tell people how which potatoes to use and stuff, um, it will work afterwards. Um, other things like marzipan there or a jelly are very hard to make and yeah, most people buy it anyway. So we would offer them to buy our cartridges. Uh, so the food inside is optimized um, for the printing process. For us, it's a tool like to show people what's possible with 3D food printing and also show people that the printing process itself has no impact on the food because the food is in the cartridge inside and it doesn't change. Most people, they ask, what can you print? Because people don't expect that food can be printed anyhow. So it's rather, whoa, what, what's possible to print? And people do not expect whole dishes or something. We are located at the Institute for Food Technology of the University of Applied Science, Wein Stefan. Um, Bocuzzini got started when we were searching for a food printer which can print all kinds of food and we didn't find one. We found one for chocolate, one for sugar application and stuff. And so um, we thought of how doing a food printer which has an yeah, easy food extruder, which is the easy, easiest one. And so we designed this head and just put it on an open source printer as the printer bot. We recognized that it's not easy to print food and that there's only a small range of texture that's possible for printing. And so we were thinking like, well, why not putting the food we optimized into cartridges and sell them? We were thinking a lot of which way we take um, for going out to the public and we decided to use Kickstarter, the crowdfunding platform, um, for the first step. The main aim was really to get feedback from people and to get a first user community. And we thought that um, Kickstarter is very nice because um, there are lots of people who like technology and who like to support new stuff and try new stuff. We saw that um, it's not so much um, going to gastronomy, but by the like viral marketing which uh, took place, we were in all kinds of uh, tech uh, platforms and about 3D printing and technology. And um, now we are also getting to um, like this uh, food um, blocks and stuff. We um, are now working on fulfilling um, the Kickstarter. Um, we have to produce about almost 70 printers or printing heads. And until then we have to make like uh, some improvements of like, for example, it has to get an auto leveling and we will work on the software and also on the food, of course. We work on food safety, the cartridges will um, be certificated and um, the food which we produce um, is 
produced like in industry. Um, we care for that all food is appropriate. I think this printer uh, is affordable for lots of people because it will cost less than a thousand euro. The speed is not optimized yet, but we will work on this um, within the next half year. And I think there's uh, much to that can be improved. Yeah, one like the skyscrapers, um, about now it's about 15 minutes, um, but it will be faster, I guess, in the end. The shelf life of a printed object um, depends on the food it is printed from potato puree and um, dries very fast and within a day it doesn't look nice anymore. But if you have um, like a marzipan like this one, uh, they stay like uh, several weeks. We have some like from the beginning, so six months old. They still look nice, but I would not recommend to eat them because of course the fats inside um, will not taste so good anymore. <laughs> There's a lot of, a lot of science or, and um, knowledge um, behind the food or inside the food, which is filled into the cartridges because it really has to be optimized for the printing process. And for example, the marzipan has to be very fine and almost like fluid when it comes out of the noodle, but it has to be stable enough to um, build a object like 3D object like that, um, layer by layer, so it still has to be stable enough. Each food has different printing properties. You can optimize the temperature with which you print. For example, marzipan is like 50 degrees to make it more fluid. Um, potato puree can be printed cold. And um, bubble gum we print at very elevated temperatures, like more than 70 degrees. Yeah, you can do lots of um, nice shapes with it, of course. For example, like symmetrical shapes like a labyrinth, which would not be possible or would take a lot of time um, to, to do for chefs. Um, you can also maybe integrate your customer so they can write something and they ha their handwriting can be on the plate as decoration or something. For example, you can make like uh, experiences um, in using maybe uh, some puree of uh, a vegetable and make it in the shape of another puree or of another vegetable. So you can um, like surprise your guests. The more people are experimenting with this, the more um, creative um, aspects will be visible. It's like in 3D printing. Um, if people or people use it and it will develop and develop f further, you can make the Bocusini yourself because it's open source, you can download the files. The good thing is that the food we sell or the recipes we get out um, is optimized um, towards the food printing process of the Bocusini. We really want people to get a good result, so that's the advantage of having a Bocusini.